I'm a teaching seven years uh, in a desk school. Just to give you a kind of a background of where I'm from. So I was teaching for seven years, was homeschooled for four years, um, and recently I've gone back into the class and um, completed my master's. The, the big benefit I had from um, homeschool was that I was shared between two, two schools. One was a small school, which is my base school at the moment, and one was a larger school. Now, in regards to parental involvement, both principals would have been very kind of, you know, they would have been like all of us, they would have wanted it. You know, everybody agrees parental involvement is brilliant, you know, there's benefits. Um, one school would have achieved it, one wouldn't have, and it was good for me kind of to be involved in it because you could see why, but I think I can see why, and that's kind of what I want to share with today. We need to just kind of take a little step away and not say parental involvement is measured by how many we get in. And I think home schools can really relate to that. You know, you put on all these courses and you get four parents in. You put on another course, you get the same four parents in. And you're kind of going, well, if 300 parents, where are they coming? But we need to kind of remember that parental involvement, it can be happening at home. The biggest thing is three C's. The first one is communicate. The second is create. And the third one is call. Now, what I mean by that is the first one is communicate. Like, you have to talk to the parents. I'm going to talk about a piggy bank in a second. But you've got to talk to the parents. You've got to communicate. And I think, you know, when you've got a course, everybody does the communication part. And then we skip to the call part. And by call, I mean it's call them in. But what I'm saying in the middle, there has to be a create the environment. All right, so it goes communicate with the parents, get them into this warm, friendly environment. And then after the, you know, you've built up a bit of a rapport with them, if possible, that's when you call them in. The best example I have of that is, again, the two schools that I worked with. One of the things we did was uh, breakfast morning. You know, straight away we did rasher sausages, beans, eggs, pudding, brown bread, brown bread uh, with newspapers. I'd now magazine, I'd OK magazine, I'd everything, right? But the two principals would have very different views. So we'd communicate it and we got the parents in. But one created an environment and the other one went straight to call. One of the bigger school, the principal came in and she said, Dave, I want to talk to them. You know, I want to get people for the... Parent Association, I want to get a classroom rep from every class, and I want to get a uh, bedtime reading set up. That was 82, 83 parents. Free they breakfast. walked out. It was a free <laughs> breakfast, and they loved the breakfast. And the breakfast was cooked by parents, actually, I should say. There was four that cooked it for me. But those parents, I didn't see them. They didn't come back. Right? If we get them in, the other school, the 24, 25 parents in, Scott, the principal, went down. Now, if you knew him, he's a showman. Like, he went down, and all he did, so everyone was eating whatever, he walked down, and he was like, how are you, how are you? We talked to them, didn't mention anything about school, just talked to them, asked them about their kids. The big thing, I'll give you a few tips kind of on building the atmosphere because I think that's where we kind of go with yeah. this. But he just talked to them and he left. And the whole time they were eating and they were eating in groups there, groups there, and he walked around, they left. I have to say, out of the 25, we maybe got 16, 17 of them to come back and get involved. So it's all kind of very much on their level, and that's something that we look to build on. That it's just, you know, they would call me Dave, they talk, call Scott Scott, and, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's all very kind of keeping them on the same level that, you know, if you want to work together, you can't be on different levels, would be our opinion. But we create the piggy bank, sorry to get back to that. So the idea is that you make a deposit in the piggy bank, and that is that you tell them something good about their child today. You know, oh, he did brilliant today and whatever, deposit. Um, he was saying you were away at the weekend, you have a good weekend, deposit. It's all these ideas that they're getting all these positives from you, right? But then when you've got to say something bad, when you've got to call them in, you don't clear out the piggy bank because you've been depositing Every week, every couple of days, you're dropping another compliment in. So they've got this whole range of things. They, they see the school in a positive light, and now, okay, there's this little negative, all right? Look, just wanted to say to you, and it's so much easier when you've been talking to them. Just wanted to say to you, he didn't have the homework done yesterday. He said uh, he didn't have his English copy. If it happens again, let him do it in his SESE copy. And then the parents are like, oh, grand, grand. And then you finish it on a high again and say, oh, I hear you're going wherever.